Hey everybody, this is Mr. Kevin from Humboldt Craftworks here in beautiful Humboldt County, California. And today I'm gonna talk about tape and mitering parts. And I've done this before, but people don't believe me that you can actually miter up parts. See, see this here thing? So what I'm gonna do, I have a job in Willow Creek and I'm putting a bar in. We need to cover up an entire section that's like six feet tall and about five and a half feet wide. Five and a half feet wide. <laughs> Five and a half inches wide that's electrical going up a post and they want me to wrap it. So I'm going to show you how I make this little piece and all I'm gonna do to glue it up is tape. Here, I'll draw you a picture. <laughs> Got a pen. So the top is gonna be like five and three eighths and the two legs are gonna be like two and a half. And I'm gonna 45 them and uh, it's gonna be six feet long. <laughs> So what we're going to do today is show you how to tape up a six foot long miter just using tape. <laughs> All right, first thing you need to do is go to the store and buy yourself some wood. <laughs> and this I actually picked out. Nice ribbon grain sapele. It's beautiful. Second thing you got to do is make sure your material is wide enough for what you need. Because if it ain't, uh, you're going to come out short and it won't look like one board. So the first thing we're going to do is break down the wood. And this board happens to be over 10 feet long and about eight inches wide, which is okay. First thing I do, I'm going to cut off the first three inches of this board. <laughs> Except for one problem, the power's out. Dang it. <laughs> you know, if I was a professional, I wouldn't have these problems. All right, here we go. Cut the end off. Make sure you check the end for checks. Always check for checks. What I'm going to do now is I need a piece that's... Uh, it says it's like a 76 inches, so I'm gonna make it 80. All right, I just marked it at 80. I'm gonna have to move you guys because I gotta open the garage door. So I'm gonna put you over here and then uh, make a cut and hopefully I don't blind everybody. All right, <laughs> I have to put you outside. Hopefully it's not too overblown. Okay, so I've already marked it at uh, 80 inches. And then I know everybody should wear a mask. <laughs> everybody wear a mask. <sighs> Okay, so now I've got my, yeah, get out of the way, Jimmy. That's my saw, Jimmy. So I'm gonna join this edge and run it through the planer real quick and I'll be right back. All right, there it is. Piece of sapele, -le 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 -le. a piece of sapele. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna go double check my measurements and I'm going to miter it and then take off the pieces and then I'm gonna glue these pieces back on it and hopefully it looks like one piece of wood and the grain will match going all the way around and it'll be cool. Uh, but I have to check somebody first, so excuse me very much. <laughs> so I always like lay it out, and I'm sitting in my chair because oh, it's kind of cool. So inch and a quarter is what we need for the side pieces. Uh, you bring out the miter to the end, and whatever the hell that is doesn't really matter. Um, you come over an eighth of an inch, you mark your other 45. The interior needs to be three and three quarters. So we come over three and three quarters and strike another 45 degree angle. Ooh. Like that. And then, um, and that's that. Well, I hope that made sense, and uh, I'm gonna film it here in a minute. I'll put it on Super Turbo Charge, Super Turbo Charge uh, time lapse, so you can uh, check it out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Woo! <laughs> See you in a minute. My favorite headphones are missing. <laughs> I don't like that. So from this edge here, we got to make inside. It's got to be an inch and a quarter. So you set your saw at an inch and a quarter. I'm gonna set it just a little bigger, like one and five sixteenths. I'm gonna improvise. I'm going to use my musical ones because uh, the dust I can handle. My ears ringing for three days? Not so much. <laughs> Look, I grew a tail. Maybe I can plug it in and rock out. And there it is. A miter fold. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reset up. I'm gonna glue this thing up <laughs> using tape. All right. So when working with mitered uh, parts, you have to be very careful that you don't cut yourself because they are very sharp. And you also have to be careful that you don't ding the edges. Uh, so we got a pretty sharp edge, all 45 degrees. Um, if you ding them up too bad, they're gonna be a mess, see, sharp. 
sharp edges. So be very careful once you've mitered them not to fling them around and hit things, especially yourself, because you'll take a chunk out of it and that won't be good. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get cut up some tape uh, and I'm going to lay it across the uh, seams here and, uh, and then we're going to flip it over and glue it. All right. Just going to film it anyway, I guess. I've said that a million times, I guess. Okay. Now for the hard part, we're gonna flip this Johnson over. So the easiest way I know how to do it is just to pull, <laughs> lift. <laughs> Tape works pretty good, it's pretty stiff. And just, there it is. Ooh, oh my God. Yeah. See, it's gonna, it's gonna oh try to fight you and pull off. That's why the center one's the most important. You make sure that's tight. These ones, uh, we're gonna retighten later. All right, you don't need to look at me, just watch what I'm doing, I guess. <laughs> Here we go, okay. Okay, now we're gonna fold. Look at that, just that simple. Cut this in the center, give it a pull. I'm gonna try doing two at a time, cause I'm crazy like that. Take this and I'm gonna pull, and what I'm doing, I'm just gonna do this in a few spots. Okay, I'm just bridging over the top in a few spots. And then I'm going to flip it back over and readjust. So these ones here are gonna hold this from popping out when we flip it over again. Uh, it'll keep it from spreading out as we'll lock these in. So rub these down here. Make sure they're pretty well locked into place. There's a lot of turning involved. So we're looking at this edge. Uh, doesn't look too bad. You see this edge here? So it's already pretty good. And that's not even tightened yet. So we can make it tighter by taking more tape and then attaching it from this side and then pulling it this way, wherever there's a gap. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check it with my small square to see how square it is. Square. So I'm gonna check the other side. So that side was square. Square. Like right here, see how that's off? So what you do, like one side's higher than the other. And all I'm gonna do for that is, if I can, if I can loosen the tape up and reuse this piece of tape, I'm gonna squeeze it with my fingers and pull. And you can see all the glue splooge out. It's still a little high, but when you go to sand it, that'll all disappear. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull some extra tape wherever it looks like there's a gap. If it's gappy, um, if it needs some extra help uh, being closed, I'm going to pull a little tape from here to here, just whoop, pull it over, or I might go all the way over since these are already long. So uh, here we go. The hardest part is cutting the damn tape. All right, so we got that locked down. I'm going to pull. Come over here, a little gappy, and I pull. And if you can see as I'm pulling, it splooges out. The end's gonna get cut off. So I'm not really worried about the end so much. Let's try it right here. Right. When you're pulling, make sure it's down there tight. And then you're gonna pull across. Rub it there really good. Pull across. Come across this side. Rub that down, pull across, pull. Underneath, boom. There it is. Six footer double sided. Um, going to be a cover for electrical. Uh, I don't know how long it took me to glue it up. It only took probably 15 minutes. Once you cut the tape and you get all your glued up things and you make sure you hinge the front first, lay everything flat, make sure you can put that little hinge across there and make sure that you rub down on this the hardest because the ends could pop off. That's okay. You can fix that later. But you really want it stuck to the face. And this is the face. And there you go. It's square. It's a miter fold, double sided miter fold, electrical box cover thingamajigger bobber. <laughs> there it is. And then uh, just let it dry. Doesn't matter what the glue is on the inside because that's never seen. Uh, this is the outside. And we'll sand the outside. And yeah, we're done. Check it out. The grain looks like uh, it matches everywhere, right? Boom. <sighs> Cause it's out of the same board so if you like the video please hit the like button if you didn't uh, hit the dislike button uh, whatever let me know what you didn't like about it besides being 4,000 hours long <laughs> thanks for watching thanks for subscribing sign up for the butcher block giveaway tell all your friends hit the notification bell and i'll see you next time on woodworking with mr kevin because that's me have an awesome day and i'll see you soon bye <laughs> i'm gonna get you this time i'm gonna get you this time I was going to hit you with something. What should I hit you with? I feel like I'm surrounded by rings. Nail set. It's just hanging. Oh. It thinks it's an elephant. All right, I forgot one more thing. <laughs> so if you ever have a problem and your miters doesn't, don't come out so well and you got a little gap or something, you can take a uh, nail set. This is kind of a skinny one. So let's say you have a little bit of a gap. You take your nail set, uh, the smooth side of a nail set, or you can take a screwdriver. Here, I got a screwdriver. And all you do is you take this and go around like this. Go around the wood. And if you do this while the glue is still wet, it'll glue itself together and make a super tight seam. You won't even be able to tell. So there it is. And it kind of makes it smoother. Oh. And there you go. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh my goodness, look at those eyeballs. So there it is. The one thing I forgot to tell you is you can uh, easily tighten up your uh, your miter fold by using a little screwdriver and uh, rub it back and forth and scrape off the glue and make sure it's all cleaned up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Woodworking with Mr. Kevin.